Hi everyone, you are watching Dancing with Data. And today we are going to learn how to create a custom function from a reusable piece of logic. Custom function is a part of PEL 300 examination as well. So you will get the questions at the end as well. So if I type what is a function in, so you will see function is across all the different programming languages. And pick any one out of these, what is function in C language. So function in C is a set of statement that when called perform some specific task is this, this is basic building block of a C program that provides modularity and code reusability. So more or less custom. So more or less functions are being used to reuse the same piece of code that you will use frequently. So instead of writing the code again and again, you just write the function and call that function. Same goes with the custom function of Power BI as well where you use custom function as a reusable piece of logic. So let's take this example where you see codes related to airline, which needs to be transferred to origin destination airline and flight ID. So if you have multiple queries where you need to apply the same logic, you can just create a function and invoke it wherever and whenever necessary. So as you can see over here, we have multiple tables or multiple queries. You can say we have the same logic to convert this code to this state so we will create one custom function and invoke that custom function wherever needed or whenever needed the first step will be to create a parameter having one of the sample values as current value so if you are at the initial page then you have to go to transform data first and it will open the query editor page go to manage parameter and create a new parameter there so you have to put current value as one of the examples and here we can say this as code and I think we are good. We say okay. Now you can see on the left hand side the parameter is created. Now this is our reusable piece of code and I can copy it from there itself and it will do all the transformation like split values, create row, rows to table, change type. This page link will be a description so you can copy as well along with me. So I come back to my query editor. I go to new source and I say blank query. Okay. I go to advanced editor and I copy that piece of code to make it reusable and I say done. So it, you can see that how beautifully it has transformed into four different columns over there with the origin code, destination, airline and the flight ID as well. Now I can rename this query. Right click rename and it can say transfer airline data here you go now let me turn this query into function and i right click on this and i say create function function name get airline details it will be good and parameter remains the code that we had already and I say OK. And all of a sudden you can see that function a get airline details and you can see small fx over there that shows that this is a function. Now this is just like a regular function. For example, if I go with the second one now, copy the code and get back to the custom function and I say invoke. So when I invoke this, it will give me the output you can see at the bottom invoked function now for now I should delete this one because I don't want to confuse you let me delete it so our function is ready by the way but then we would like to invoke function somewhere there maybe the first table itself so now now I would like to invoke the custom function so I need to go to add column then invoke custom function for this very particular table I click on this one here you go and now it asks me to, you know, populate function query that is get airline details. That's it. Uh, this will work for the column name as code. And I say, okay, here you go. Now you have that table, full table over there. Now I need to just expand it to get my output. And I say, okay, and here you go. So in one shot, I was able to get all the airline details over there. Now, if I want to shift to airline two, and again, I say invoke custom function and same thing, get airline details. So 
here you go a line 2 and I say ok and same thing so I can do the same thing with multiple tables or say multiple queries now that's the advantage and that's how we are making use of custom function to use the same logic same piece of code across different queries now that's the example that I was interested to show you